Hello everybody and welcome to this short video tutorial of the Firesweep platform. I'd like to introduce a very unique function called DOM which stands for the depth of market and popularly known as the price ladder on Firesweep. Alright, so let's get started. As you can see right now, I have opened the chart for State Bank of India. Now let's load the DOM window on the workspace by clicking on this icon. There are two arrows, there is one pointing up and one pointing down. This is how it looks like and now we are going to discuss the features one by one. So first thing first, up here you can see the input for quantities which you have to mention before the order placement. Now this right here is basically your position display which is showing flat because there are no position as of now. Beside that you have this open profit and loss display which shows MTM for the open positions. Alright, so let me take a live example to show how it works. So I placed a market order for one quantity. See now it is showing me one quantity with my MTM. Now let's focus on the core part of the DOM consisting of this buy column, sell column and the middle price column which will represent the stock price that you are trading. Identifying the last shredded price is pretty simple. As you can see, it is shaded in gray in the middle price column. So in this case, it's 251.55. Then you have your bid column and your offer column with five levels on each side. And also what's pretty interesting is it actually shows you a histogram of volume at each price level. Now at the bottom here you can see that there is this quick buttons for the quick functionalities. This one is used to cancel the all working or pending buy orders with just a single click. And this one is used for scrolling up and down on the DOM which can be done with your mouse scroller as well. Now this button is very important because when the market starts to trade and the DOM gets a little off center, then you just want to simply hit this button here, center view and that's gonna simply recenter the DOM. Now the rest is pretty simple. This is for scrolling down and this is for cancelling the pending sell orders. So here is a quick demo as to how do you cancel all the pending orders with just a single click. I'm placing a couple of limit buy orders for SBI. And this is how I clear them off. Moving forward, now we'll look upon these extra buttons beneath the price ladder. Well, these two are self-explanatory. So I'll tell you about the flatten first. Flatten button is used when you want to liquidate all your open positions in various stocks at the available market price. As you can see in my dashboard that I got a sell position for SBI which I am going to liquidate it at the current market price. Now this cancel all helps you cancel all the working or pending orders regardless if they are buys or sells. So just to give you an example. Now this reverse button is very important because it is nowadays widely used by the intraday traders. What exactly it does is, it reverses your position with the same quantity and at the market price. Now do observe the screen. I have placed a market order for one quantity for Axis Bank. So basically I am long on one quantity. So post reversing, I will be short on one quantity. See this is how it works. Alright, so apart from this, modification of the pending orders is also extremely easy on the price ladder. Just simply drag and drop the order as you please. Now, one last thing that I want to point out before we sign off is, sometimes some illiquid stocks leave the empty spaces between the best bid and the best ask on the price ladder. So to fix this problem, go to settings and then trading and deselect the checkbox for show price levels with zero volume in DOM. Now the DOM looks even much better. I appreciate your patience for watching this tutorial.
stay tuned for more videos